Howdy everybody, and welcome to another episode of Weekend Revival. Right now, we are crossing the Seven Mile Causeway over the Great Salt Lake on our way to Antelope Island for the 2021 Bison Roundup. As you can see, it is a beautiful early morning on the road today, and we are extremely excited to see today's event since we've never seen cowboys herd bison before. Join us as we watch this year's Roundup and show you some beautiful scenery of the island. The cowboys and cowgirls commence the roundup at the southern portion of the island at Fielding Gar Ranch. There's a mix of experience here today, with it being some horses first time seeing bison. Today's challenge for the riders is not getting bucked off from a spooked horse. And believe it or not, it happens a lot each year. The cowboys are just over that ridge over there. We can see them just on the other side and they're gonna be bringing bison with them as they're driving the bison from the south part of the island up to the north where the corrals are. We've got some bison right here next to us, so we should be able to see some good action of them rounding up more bison right next to us. And they should be bringing the bison with them. So stay tuned and hopefully you can see some great footage of the bison ahead. The bison are not as close as we had hoped, but you can see the cowboys have already gathered a few off in the distance and I've put a red circle on the video so you can see where they're at. And if you look off to your left, here come the cowboys. How are you? Hi. How's it going? Good. So far. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful horse. Yeah. Beautiful horse. Send me that chair, my butt's tired. That's all yours. That horse is so gorgeous. You guys having fun? Now the riders will continue on to the group of bison just to the north of us. Fun fact time. Did you know that a mature bison can eat between 40 and 50 pounds of grass per day? Now if we assume there's 700 bison on the island right now, that's 35,000 pounds of grass consumed per day. Now you gotta remember, the bison are not the only animals here on the island. We've got mule deer, antelope, and bighorn sheep all competing for resources here on the island. So with no natural occurring predators, we have to artificially reduce the herd. And that's why we're here today at the Bison Roundup. We are artificially reducing the herd. The cowboys are taking the bison from the south end all the way to the north end, and we're gonna round them up all here at the corral. Once they're in the corral, we're gonna count the bison and also perform research to make sure the herd is still healthy. A healthy herd amount is between 500 and 550 bison to keep on the island to get through the winter. So the remaining amount of bison that they round up are gonna be sold on November 8th at this year's bison sale. We are now at the north end of the island near the corrals. And since my camera does not have any zoom capability, the bison and the riders look like ants marching along the side of the mountain. But again, I've put the red circle to help you identify them. The cowboys and the cowgirls are now leading the bison towards the fence line, where they will use the fence to help guide the bison through the gate. And though it is hard to see, using the fence proved to be quite the effective method today. Now that all the bison are rounded up, go ahead and congratulate those cowboys and cowgirls as they ride by. We left them home. <laughs> if you're an interested cowboy or cowgirl, for a small fee, you can actually participate in the bison roundup. You get to ride right next to the bison for an all day event to be out here on the island. So come out here, load up your horse and check it out. In addition to seeing bison and the great hiking available, Fielding Gar Ranch is a piece of history to take in while at the southern part of the island. According to the state park's website, 
Mr. Fielding Gar built the first log cabin in 1848. Here, you can witness my poor performance at roping. The ranch went from a cattle focus to sheep and back to cattle, all before becoming a national park in 1981. The shearing barn was built in the 1920s. At the time, it was one of the largest sheep operations in this part of the country. They say that more than 10,000 sheep grazed on the island during the spring. This particular barn was built with the purpose of mechanical shearing. This process took only a matter of minutes in comparison to the traditional shearing, which took approximately half an hour. And as you can imagine, this was a huge technology leap for the ranch. Now, if you like this video, please press like below. You can also follow our blog and our channel here for more fun ideas of things to do on the weekend. So our blog is up above, also our social media links. Check us out, can't wait to see you next time.